Hi, I'm Mallory Woods, a solutions engineer at Checkmarks. And today we're going to talk about integrating Checkmarks One into an IDE installation. Checkmarks One will integrate into your IDE of choice. To show you some of the integrations that we currently have, click the integrations button on the left side, scroll down, and you will find the IDE integrations that Checkmarks One support. We currently support Eclipse, JetBrains, Visual Studio, and VS Code. Integrating IDEs into Checkmarks One is relatively simple. Locate the gear in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and click the Identity and Access Management link. Once the screen loads, locate the API key at the bottom left. From here, you can create your individual API key by clicking the Create Key button. Type in a note for an API name, and keep in mind the expiration period of the IDE key. Click Create, and then copy the API key. Please note, this is the only time this will be available for you to copy. Once you are done, we can click the link to go back to the screen of Checkmarks 1. Once this screen has loaded, we need to go into our IDE application. In this case, we will demonstrate using VS Code. Checkmarks 1 is available via the plugin extension. Go to the Extensions tab and type in Checkmarks 1. In this case, I've already set up the extension. Click the gear for manage and go to extension settings. Find the Checkmarks One API key and paste in your new API key. Once done, click the settings button and you should have the Checkmarks One logo on your left. Once you click on the Checkmarks One logo, the extension loads and you can select your project. Click this and it will bring you up a list of projects that are located on your tenant. After you select the title of your project, select the branch. Once the branch is selected, you want to select the scan. Please note the latest scan will always be at the top of the list. At this time, Checkmarks is loading in the information to the local IDE so that the developer can view it. Once that information is loaded, you can see all the results of your latest scan from SAS results to infrastructure's code and SCA. A developer can review all of the changes from within the IDE. The general tab will display a description of the vulnerability and display the attack vector from source to sync. You also can see the description of the vulnerability as well as a link included to code bashing. We will give you remediation examples of the vulnerability on screen, and you can even triage the vulnerability from here. Please note that any changes that you make here will reflect in the Checkmarks UI. And that's how you integrate Checkmarks 1 into your IDE. If you like this or would like to see more videos, please click the link below to visit our YouTube channel.